Hey guys, a question that I often get asked by um, janitorial contractors regarding managing and supervising accounts is this. Should I have a supervisor that oversees the, the crew at night, make sure the work's getting done and the supplies are, are there and inspections are being done? And then should I have an additional manager or an operations person that interacts with the customers? This question often comes up during the, the growth phases, particularly early on in an organization when you have supervisors out at night um, that are overseeing accounts and you as the owner are dealing with the customers. But as you grow, oftentimes you replace yourself with some sort of an operations manager or area managers and you typically end up having two layers of management. So you have supervisors out at night working with the crew and then you have a manager that's that's dealing with the customers during the day and the question gets asked is this is this a good way to do it because sometimes you reach a, a spot where you think this this may not be working well and, and we hit that early on we were probably in the two to three million dollars in revenue when we started bumping up against this challenge and a part of the challenge comes because as you think about it there's there's really four layers of communication you have the customer you have the area manager you have the area supervisor and you have the cleaner so in that chain of custody, if you will, of the communication, there is uh, a lot that can go wrong and break down. And also because the manager doesn't have communication with the team members, there can be a little bit of a rub there. And because the supervisor doesn't have communication with the customer, um, they can be not as concerned about the customer because they don't have to deal with them on a daily basis. So most companies, as they grow a little bit larger, um, end up consolidating that into one management position where the area manager oversees the nighttime operations and deals with the customer during the day. So usually they shrink the quantity of accounts down but let them manage the accounts as a whole. So in our company we eliminated that area supervisor position over time and had just an area manager that, that oversaw those accounts. So that eliminated a layer in the organization and made that communication chain smaller. And so the area manager now has a lot of incentive to make sure the staff is doing well and also that the customer's happy. And they're the one intermediary between those two groups of people. And so they are, are in the best position to strike that balance between the team doing a good job and being happy and the customer being satisfied. So as you're thinking about whether or not that's an issue in your company or you're early in the stages and thinking that may be something that will, will happen down the road, I would encourage you to start planning for that and thinking about what supervisors do I have that could potentially be a more manager type position and maybe begin to roll some people over into that to see if that model works for you guys. As the company gets more and more spread out, as you take on more and more accounts, this area manager model tends to work better as the company gets larger and larger. So I'd encourage you to think about that, think through that, specifically if you're in some of these earlier stages um, and your operations are growing, that that may be a hurdle you're gonna to have to overcome at some point. But typically, that's usually the model that people go to. And so if you're wrestling with that, know that a lot of other companies have, and uh, it's a very normal thing. So if you have any questions about that or, um, or would like to, to talk a little bit further about that, I'm happy to, to help you. There's even a few articles on the Elite Business Coaching website, EliteBusinessCoaching.net, that you can check out uh, that should be helpful. And for those that are involved in the Mastermind Group, uh, it's definitely a, a conversation we're talking about on the message board. So I hope you have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon.